From Alabama's number one news station, this is Channel 6 News with Scott Richards, Mike Hogwood, and meteorologist Mike Royer in the Weather Center. Good evening, I'm Scott Richards. There's been a major breakthrough. You can see more of our new set. It's certainly more comfortable for those of us who work here, and we hope it will be more visually attractive to you, too. We won't take valuable news time right now to show you all the different things this set allows us to do in presenting the news, but you will be seeing some of those advantages in the weeks and months to come. Something else you'll be seeing on Channel 6 News from now on is more comprehensive coverage of Alabama, the United States, and the world, for that matter, because of this satellite dish, Earth Station 6. This satellite receiving station gives us more ways to cover the news than any other station here. And we are now able to receive news and sports reports from all over the world this way without the usual delays. And this is just one more way we hope to serve you better with better and faster coverage. We'll have more of that news coverage when Channel 6 News continues. beautiful weekend that we had. We hope all of you enjoyed it. We certainly did. We got out yesterday, played in the charity softball game. Good time. Raised some money for Children's Hospital yesterday, and we won the softball game, which made it even better. That's it right. That's nice. all that counts. That's right. <laughs> Winning is everything. <laughs> we did have a good time out there, and we had a nice weekend. Things are changing. We'll tell you about it up next on Channel 6 Weather. Mike Royer's weather forecast is prepared at the National Weather Service Observation Station here at Channel 6. What we try to do here at the Channel 6 Weather Center is make it more appealing to the eye, but more importantly, more practical in forecasting the weather for you, especially when it comes to severe weather. We moved our forecasting tools right here into the set so that, uh, especially during those times, we can do a better job of forecasting the weather for you. Uh, some of the equipment, in fact, most of it you've seen. Nexus, of course, the uh, news and weather computer. I put, uh, I asked the computer to find out anything it could about Hurricane Frederick that went through a couple of years ago. It found over 5,000 articles and papers that had been written about tremendous for research work. Also, we have moved a state weather wire into the uh, weather center here so that uh, when we're working with severe weather, we will constantly have warnings and contact from the National Weather Service. Of course, the radar, always a vital part of our forecasting work here at Channel 6. You've seen also the weather scan computer. Uh, we use this many times a day, constantly giving us severe weather information, temperatures, uh, weather information from anywhere in the United States and North America, a very valuable piece of equipment. And a vacant spot at the end is uh, where our satellite receiver is going to go. Uh, we expect that within the next 30 days or so. It has to be modified to receive satellite pictures for us, and that is taking place now. Um, there's one other piece of equipment that we don't have that I put in the budget, asked for it. It got turned down, and I feel badly about it, but we just don't have it, and that's a microwave oven. I thought that would be perfect. You know, if you got hungry during the national map, you could pop some soup in the microwave, and it, it'd be ready, but they don't care about my stomach. They just want me to do the weather, and that's what we're here to do. Twice as many people are watching me do the weather right now than will watch anyone else this evening. And so we're not doing anything too drastic. We're staying with what you like, and we hope you enjoy our new Channel 6 Weather Center. Here's the guest weather slide for this evening. I heard it on my way. Good evening, I'm Scott Richards. Join Scott Richards for Channel 6 News on the scene. Better call mine. Yeah, I see it. I'll be there in five minutes. Hey, Mike, what are you doing out here so early? It's kind of nasty out there, country boy. Got to keep an eye on it. Wow, that looks good. Weather service radar indicates a tornado will be. Yeah, that's what we're seeing, too. The severe weather we told you about last night. Join Mike Royer for Channel 6 Weather on the scene.
From Alabama's number one news station, this is Channel 6 News with Bill Bolin, Tom York, and Colleen Bates in the Weather Center. the 10 o'clock edition of Total of Channel 6 News. For Ron Grillo and Phyllis Alvar, I'm Janet Hall reminding you to join us tomorrow. Good night. This is Channel 6 News.